Welcome back to Learn Fiori. Uh, today's video is not really Fiori focused, uh, but it is a, about a drill you can use to help you learn whatever style of fencing you're, you're using. It's called a chest drill, and there are a lot of different variations on this. I've been taught it by a variety of different people around the area uh, and around the, the world. Uh, I'm going to teach you my version of it. Um, basically, this is an unarmored drill. It is moved, moving slow. Only one of the two people in the drill is moving at a time. When that person moves, it is their job to get themselves safe and to put the other person at threat. Thus, they're taking themselves out of check and putting the other person in check. While one person is moving, the other person is stationary. They're not supposed to respond, but they are supposed to watch and evaluate what the person is doing, give them feedback and suggestions if they ask for it, and most importantly, give them feedback that if this were a real fight and the, that the, the stationary opponent were allowed to move, whether the move that they had chosen to do was stupid and was going to open them up and wasn't going to work in a real fight. One important thing uh, is that uh, the person when they're moving, sh their action should be a simulation of a single tempo action. They shouldn't do a complex multiple step, multiple move, sword move. We're simulating a real fight, so it should be something simple, a single step and a sword move potentially. Um, you can do this at any measure. Uh, in fact, I encourage you to try it at multiple measures. Try it at long measure, try it at medium measure, try it at close measure. Try it at transitioning measures uh, during your, your motion. All of those are valid and all of those are, are helpful to drill and to understand. Take your time, be patient, think about it, discuss it, ask for suggestions. All of this is to drill, to build ideas on what may or may not work at full speed. And then when you're done, get, get into your armor, dress up, try it at full speed. See what you practiced and what you came up with. See which of it works, see which of it doesn't work. So here we are, we're at fairly close measure just because of the necessity of the, the camera framing. Um, and I'm going to do something uh, to put him at risk and put myself safe. So I'm going to step in and do something like this. At this point, uh, he is in threat from my, my thrust and I am not in threat. Uh, then he can do a disengage around when it's his turn to move and put me at threat. Probably cover my sword a little bit better. There he goes. Now, now he's safe and I'm at risk. Okay? Now I can also put a step into this, so this time I'm going to step forward and I'm going to half sword uh, to put him at risk. So any, any single tempo move like this, you can, you can dance back and forth and try things and see how you think they can work. So you can do this drill at, at any measure, and I encourage you to do it at multiple measures because it'll drill and build different skills. So here we are at fairly long measure for these long swords, uh, and we can and the movements here at long measure are going to be very subtle, very, very small moves just to, to cover the other person and to control a line so that um, you know, I momentarily have an advantage. Now uh, my opponent will move, he'll do something similar, all right? And then I'm going to do a Fiori exchange of, exchange of thrusts, and I'm going to step forward, I'm going to change the measure, and I'm going to move toward his his chest. I'm not actually going to deliver a blow, that's not the point of this, it's just to establish check, um, uh, an advantage. So here's the Fiori exchange of thrust, move, and then he has to respond to that somehow. So here's an example of a dumb uh, response. I'm going to do a flashy uh, disengage over the top and then push his sword out of the way. Nice and fancy, looks good. Why was that dumb? It was dumb because if it was a real fight and he was allowed to move at the same time while I'm doing that disengage, he's going to thrust into me. And I'm not doing anything to stop him. So his responsibility during the drill, if I do something like that, is to tell me that was dumb. You would have died. So watch for things where your point is uh, staying online for a long period of time or where your, your parry is pushing the sword across your body and giving the person an awful lot of time in order to extend and to kill you if it was a real fight, so something like this. You know, maybe he could have uh, come around and stabbed me while I was doing that if it were a real fight. Uh, remember, there's no rush uh, in this drill. Take your time, think about it, work through things that, that you think are going to have the best chance of working. 
and then get into armor and try it uh, at speed in real combat. Uh, please comment below if you've done something similar, what your variations are. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.